Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because I just woke up at 3 in the afternoon because I got back from Canada yesterday, jet lag has hit me hard but that's not going to stop the fun because we're at Twisted Oaks Bike Park, I'm on my aggressive hardtail and we're going to have a power hour of excitement shredding this beast in the bike park, see how it is, I couldn't help but think about this bike while I was away. So here we are, we're going to shred it. It is now just turning six. We've got till seven. We're going to do a full vid in only an hour. So let's get going. Come on, straight in. We're going to start off the action on this freshly changed dual track. This is basically what this bike was designed for. Let's get into it. Power hour begins. Sick, five minutes in to create that little montage down here. Pumped, but I just want you to have a little look at how nice it is here right now. They've done so much work. Look how like these berms are like perfect. Look at them, it's like a dream. Twisted Oaks, always improving here, which is so cool to see. But we've only got 55 minutes left, so somewhere else. We've come across this table I rode this the last time we were here and showed you about it, but I've just seen that there's a, a hip option. This is the landing. I'm not even going to clear it. So free ride. Let's give it a go. Here we go. Kind of scared of this. <laughs> Bit more speed. If we land in that clearer patch, yeah, we can get big tabes on it. Oh. Again. We've just done another five minutes then. Got a cool little table into the sketchiest landing ever seen. Now this bike, if you can remember, has a freak mode. So I'm going to change down into freak. 180 on the top here and then half cab back in, using it like a bit of a skate park feature. Oh. Oh. Here we go, downshift into the freak. Oh, sick. We just come across to this super big, lovely carpeted berm. I'm gonna come through here and then do a foo on the back wheel. I wouldn't normally do that on a berm, but because of this covered in carpet here, it should give it some support. So let's give that a little foof. While we're here, I'm just gonna add some excitement by free riding down this into that section. Free ride. Over this. Oh, that's well cool. Free ride! Oh, well, we've only done 20 minutes for all these little features and hits. Loving life. My brain is disorientated as it thinks it's like in a different country right now, but it's not. It's here. And we're going to find some more stuff to hit. Come on. Just in this big log here, actually, that looks like it could be ridden along like a skinny of absolute doom. So, let's whip all these away because no one likes stinging nettles. Wow, this sticks well good. As far as sticks go, this is a sick one. Let's try this stupidly technical trial line then. So I've got to come up here. If I can get to there, Yeah, that's going to be really difficult. Oh yeah, can't believe that actually is going to work. Oh no. 
No! Oh, Louis. Here we go, let's get it. Pure trialy line. Oh, I've pumped on that. That's well, Rad. I love just unlocking new random things you never saw in the bike park before. Pumped. So it's 25 past. We've got just over half an hour left. Oh, shredage. Oh my God. Do you know what time it is? It's crack of money o'clock. <laughs> Oh, a halfway crack. So good. So full of energy. Let's do some more. Come on. Right, we're now on the start North Shore platform here of a different trail that goes that way. But I want to ride up here, do a 90 hop and then sort of 270 in Danny Mac style. See if that works. Like, because there are gaps in it, you've got to land your tyre exactly on the bit of wood where it gets stuck. Oh yes, oh look, straight into a new skinny. Cool. Right, come on, more stuff. We're just gonna montage this trail now and I'm gonna manny across the thing. I just did that 270 plant on. Oh my God. That little montage then cut through 10 minutes. That was cool, but what you didn't see is I run up and down to get them shots. I love this thing. The aggressive hardtail, 27.5 wheels. Such a cool mix of enduro and jump bike. I actually feel so at home on this thing. It's quite windy out here. I think we're gonna do another jibber, but we should definitely finish with some sort of backflip somewhere. So let's go and look for another little thing to hit and then we'll rush back over to the jump section. We're now just walking over to a big wall ride over there, but this is a whole new section they've got being built. It's pretty much a dream. Come in here, look. Look at these berms. This is actually closed at the moment. Imagine when this is all laid. It's gonna be so cool. And this is the last place where the sun hits. So you can ride here super late into the evening. They've also got a bigger zone here. Look at that with the shark fin, shark fin there, then shark fin out, and a huge wooden feature that's going in, like a mini sort of crankworks vibe. And this is gonna be their sort of slopey line in the back here. Pretty decent sized drop, which is gonna be able to do threes on, bar spins and stuff. And then we've got sort of a flowy line here, but they're, they're doing some work on it to change things up, but that's gonna be sick when it's done. But anyway, let's go and see this wall ride. So this is a new wall ride that's part of the four cross track here. I wanna get some speed up. It's quite difficult because my gearing's really low, but I'm gonna try and get into that and then do one of them Chris Kyle, like one foot can wall ride things. Could be quite a, quite a fun one before we do a backflip. Riders ready, watch the gate. <laughs> my foot was stuck. I thought I was going to go off the end with my foot over the frame. That's actually way gnarlier than I thought. Oh, that's so gnarly. That's well scary. 
that wall ride I can't get enough speed for. I would, it would have been sick to be able to come out the top canning still, but no chance. Not when we've only got 10 minutes left. Wow. Oh my God. I could actually downside footy this real quick, actually. Oh. 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 That re ached my wrist from that slam at Silver Star. Which one? This one. Oh, that's actually well cool. Right, I'll do that again. I wasn't that high up. I want to go a little bit higher. Hopefully I don't clip my wheel on that safety railing at the top. Let's try it. That was well cool. Pumped on that. Quite a big one. That bike's actually quite heavy compared to the jumpy. My foot almost come off while I was mid downside. That would have been pure destruction. So we've got, well, six minutes left, roughly. Look at that, almost seven o'clock. Power hour slowly coming to an end. When you go over to the jumps, it feels a bit less windy now, so I think we can get the finale flipper. Let's go and have a look. I'm now over at the dirt jumps. Wow, it's windy. Let's get a little lap through, see how it's riding. Yoop. Nice. That last one's the flipper. Feels a bit weird with the speed, but should be on for it. So let's just send it into the wind tunnel. Pure windage. Here we go. You. Here we go. Wow, what a finale with the backflip over in the windy jump section here. Perfect day. I'm so happy to be back in England, actually. Loving life. It's exactly seven o'clock now. That was the power hour of dreams. So good to sweat out this jet lag and hopefully, hopefully be back on the UK time zone in the next days because I never want to wake up at three again. That was so weird. It's actually super disorientating. Like, yeah, strange. So on that bombshell of one hour biking, 27.5s and fun, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one.